Hello, I'm Sydney Martin in the WUFT Newsroom. For Monday, April 11th, here's your News in 90. One survivor was found off the coast of Florida this morning. The Coast Guard and local authorities launched a search mission overnight for four missing boaters, but were not able to locate anything until this morning. That's when officers received reports that a body had washed up on the beach. The sheriff said that the survivor told officers that the boat took on water and started to sink. He clung to the boat all night before it came ashore. The U.S. Coast Guard rescues a teen after her family reported the girl missing on their kayaking trip. The 17-year-old was rescued Sunday night after a four-hour search near Tarpon Springs. The air and water search started after she became separated from her family. The girl said she lost her paddle after her kayak was waked by a boat, causing her to drift aimlessly for several hours. She was found in stable condition with signs of mild hypothermia. The U.S. Navy is continuing to search the Atlantic for a sailor who disappeared from a ship during a training exercise. The USS Carter Hall was about 60 miles off the coast of North Carolina this weekend when a crew member noticed the sailor was missing. The Navy Times reported that the sailor is female. Navy officials say they have at least nine ships searching for the missing sailor, along with helicopters and other small boats. What was supposed to be a three-hour island tour ended up leaving a trio stranded for three days. The three were stranded on an uninhabited island in the Federated States of Micronesia after their vessel was overtaken by a wave. The men were rescued Thursday on an uninhabited island after taking cues from the film Castaway and smelling help using palm leaves. The U.S. Coast Guard spotted the men as they waved their orange life jackets next to their palm leaf message. That's your News in 90. Thanks for watching.